Hello, I'm Tiam Sin, your instructor. I'm glad that you can join me after such a long break from our Dynamo lessons. Today, I'm going to quickly get over the use of code block in our Dynamo graphs. To create a code block in Dynamo, you just have to double click on the workspace. This allows us to create a node very quickly. We can use code block to add multiple constants to be used in our graph very quickly. And it is much tidier, tidier than to use number node, string nodes for each individual number and each string. At the other extreme, code block can be used with the design script API with X additional functionality to the library. We will now show you some of the lists that we can create using the code block. Let's start our first code block with, by double clicking the workspace. The forward slash allow us to comment what the block is about. I'm going to use the first way to create a list, which is the start, full stop, full stop, end, and the incremental value. Once you click outside the code block, you can see that the list is created. The next code block that I'm creating for you, I'm going to introduce you the pound sign. The pound sign means that the number is not an integer, but actually the number of values that you need in the list. For this case, I start from 0 to 10 and I need 3 values. Let me change the 3 to 4. And once you click outside, you can see that now there are 4 values. I can change it to 5 as well. Now let us use the pound sign in the center value which means that there are 5 values but this time we increase by 2. So this will create a list of 5 values in the incremental of 2. The last list is a very straightforward where you actually define a list by the sequence of values that you can put in the square brackets. That's it we have for code block. Hope you can use code block in your Dynamo programming. Bye now.